Welcome to Payday 2! This time the third day of the um, rats mission. So we have to move up. I'm glad there wasn't another escape uh, site of. Oh fuck. God damn it. Fuck you, bitch. Really? I just find it weird that I constantly fucking have assholes, those special assholes like bulldozers, shield guys, tasers. It's fucking annoying. This is shit you usually get on higher difficulty. I'm playing on the fucking easiest one, you know? Uh, well, at least this is the normal one. Without fucking uh, uh, gold stars to make it more difficult. Fuck. Oh, they're all there. Got another one. If I'm not mistaken, there are bombs on the bus, so... Oh, shit. Nope. Nope. Nice. Well, if I'm not mistaken, there are fucking bombs underneath this shit, so. Oh god, in there's the first fucking bomb. Let's move. No need to fucking stay in this shit. Oh god. Yeah, that's too bad. I know you can get more backs out of it if you have the quick back shit and all that. But you know what? I'm just trying to complete this shit. I'm not showing off like fancy shit like, I got all the bags before the bus exploded. Yeah, I'm not that lucky to pick. I always the first bag I pick it has a bomb under it, so... I'm just glad I got at least one out of it. And did it pretty quickly. Look at this. Just a couple of missions. Oh, <laughs> couple of minutes. Well, it was also a couple of uh, missions, but that's nice. Like I said, it wasn't that special, but it was really the first mission that fucked me over so badly that I had to abandon the, the fucking original idea of trying to bring enough loot back there. But trying to do that solo is fucking insane. They'll fuck you over a million times. As you can see, I played without any gold stars on it and still got goddamn fucking... Two bulldozers in such a short time. It is fucking annoying, but there is nothing you can do about that. At least when you play solo. Because every bullet that's being shot is directed at you. Your bots, they barely take any damage. And when they do take damage, they'll be fucking down on the ground in the middle of the fucking place. As you could see I, when I tried to pick up one of them. And they shoot the fuck out of you. So, I went down twice. And then I was like, okay, yeah, I... I'm done, you know, there, there, there's no point in staying longer in that mission, because, you know, one more time and you're pretty much done for. I mean, I could not risk it. Sometimes you just have to fucking accept, okay, this is not going to work like this. Then you could say, why don't you play with other people? Well, the problem with other people is that everyone wants to put the ingredients in, and I'd say 90% of all people do not listen what that guy says and fuck it up. It's always the same shit. Every time I try to get uh, the first three ingredients, I do it right. Then maybe you're lucky that another guy does exactly the same, but there's always one of the fucking uh, three other people that are then uh, in your team that fucks it up. I don't know if they do it deliberately or if they're just fucking retarded. Because if you listen uh, you know, carefully to the guy that talks, I know it's an annoying asshole, but if you do, then you know what to do, but every time someone fucks it up, it is so incredibly annoying, but like I said, you uh, you get an achievement, by the way, if you fuck it up, so maybe some people try to get that, but I'd say after several months after, uh, you know, this game uh, launched, I'd say everyone should probably have that one, I mean, you can get that fucking achievement on your own, you don't even need to do anything special, you just need to blow up the lab, anyway, that's uh, this mission, and, uh, well, it went that successful, but at least I completed it, and I got $19,643 uh, for that, so uh, it's still, you know, spending cash, so it's still nice. I mean, it's better something than nothing, you know. If you fuck up, you get nothing, so. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.